Hi everyone, um, today we're going to be looking at how to calculate the perimeter of a shape. So the perimeter of a shape is the total length of all the sides of a 2D shape, so a flat shape. When we calculate the perimeter, we use a unit of measure, centimetres, millimetres, kilometres, miles, whatever the original um, unit of measure is, unless you're being asked to convert it. So we've got a regular shape and we've got a compound shape. You'll be focusing more on the regular shapes today. So to calculate the perimeter, which is just the length, all you have to do is add four sides up. So we know this side is 10 centimetres long, we know this side is five centimetres long. This is a rectangle and we know that two lengths are the same, the other sides are the same. So that must mean that this side is also 10 centimetres and this side is five centimetres. And then all we have to do is literally add them together. So our calculation becomes 10 centimetres, add 10 centimetres, add 5 centimetres, add 5 centimetres. Which all together gives us 10, 20, 25, 30 centimetres. Always remember our unit of measure. So the perimeter of this shape is 30 centimetres. If we're looking at a compound shape, it follows the exact same process. You just add all your shapes um, sides up of the shape. So, although it's a compound shape, we have got one, two, three, four sides that are the same length. We know they must be three centimetres. So I'm just going to add them in. And we know this little side here is two centimetres. So this one, this one must be two centimetres. This must be two centimetres, this one here too, this one, this one, this one here, and then just this one. And again, it's just a total straightforward adding them all together. So I would probably do all the same size, but you can add them together any way you'd like. So I've got four lots of three. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lots of two centimetres. This is just another way to do it. So three multiplied by four we know is 12. Two multiplied by eight we know is 16. Which means we can add that together. 12 add 16 gives us 28 centimetres. So the perimeter of this compound shape is 28 centimetres. We're going to calculate the area of a shape. So the area is the space inside a shape. So we can use either our knowledge of arrays to calculate this or the calculation area equals length times breadth. So we use the unit of measure, centimetres squared, millimetres squared, kilometres squared, whatever the original measurement is. Um, unless you're being asked to convert it. So, if we were to use our arrays, I can see I've got two rows and four columns. So I know, let's just use centimetres. So I know that's two centimetres. I know that's four centimetres. Which means I can use my knowledge of arrays because I can find out how many squares fit inside there. So I know two um, multiplied by four is eight, or of course I can just do length times breadth, which would be um, four centimetres multiplied by two centimetres, which gives us eight centimetres squared. The way to remember the, the unit of measure is how many squares can you fit inside a shape. So we can double check that by going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you don't have the squares written out for you and you have just been given the measurements, you again can just do your length times breadth. So I've got a square here, so I could have five centimetres there, which means that this side is five centimetres too, which given our calculation of length times breadth, five centimetres multiplied by five centimetres equals 20 five centimetres squared, telling me I can fit 25 centimetres squared inside this. And if I was to do that in a row, I would have five rows and five columns. 
So just to calculate the area of a shape, we use either our knowledge of a race or we can do our length times breadth. Now we're going to look at how to calculate the volume of a shape. So the volume is the amount of space taken up by an object. So we can either count the cubes like you've got in your textbook or you can use calculation volume equal, equals length times breadth times height. So this is for a 3D shape so we're bringing that extra kind of side in there. And we use measurement cubed this time, not squared. Um, cubed because it's almost like how many cubes can you fit inside each shape. So following um, just the volume equals length times breadth times height, we've got um, our measurements here. So we've got five centimetres multiplied by two centimetres multiplied by three centimetres. Um, and this is where it comes in handy using our friendly pairs strategy. Um, might make our multiplications a little bit easier. So I can see that 5 and 2 go together to give me 10 centimetres and then straight away I know that 10 times 3 centimetres is 30 centimetres cubed which means I could fit 30 centimetres and 30 centimetre cubes inside this. If we were to look at a, um, another shape um, this is not drawn to scale. Again, we've got 5 centimetres, 10 centimetres and 2 centimetres. So doing our calculation there, I've got 10 centimetres multiplied by 5 centimetres multiplied by 2 centimetres. Now we know when we're obviously multiplying, it doesn't matter what order we multiply the numbers in. It doesn't matter if you've got, you know, volume equals height times breadth times length or volume equals length times breadth times height or volume equals breadth times length times height as long as you've got all your numbers there really good thing about adding or multiplication you can do them in any order so I'm going to use um, my friendly pairs again I know 5 times 2 gives me 10 centimetres straight away I can then add my ten, uh, multiply my 10 centimetres which means the volume of this cube is 100 centimetres cube telling me that I can fit 100 centimetre cubes inside this space. So to calculate the volume of a shape all you have to do is you can either count the cubes like you have got in your textbook or if you can't see the amount of cubes you can follow the calculation length times breadth times height.